Hi, it's Mish Duggan. Uh, please excuse my hairstyle. It's like six kinds of crazy, and <laughs> but I still love my blue. And um, just a shout out to my daughter. She's the one that does my hair blue. It's pretty amazing. I love it. And um, well, today I just wanted to talk to you guys about uh, really what my channel is about or my, what my videos here are about. Uh, I really wanted to just start sharing some of my story. It's taken me 22 years to have the guts to actually say stuff about my life and really express what it's like living with HIV for 20 something years and it's it's been a challenge I will not lie it has had its ups and downs like extreme ups and downs but the highs are amazing and even the lows are learning points and it's just been a huge amazing journey that I pretty much really wouldn't change for the world because I would not know my true self, I don't think. I don't know if I would be in the situation I am right now where I can have my expressive hair that I like. I don't know if I would be in a place where I know that a toxic relationship or a unhealthy relationship is not a good idea just to not have to be alone. Um, I'm in such a good, I've got such a good relationship with my two kids who I actually had when I was HIV positive. So I don't think I would trade, change any of this for the world, but I also would not wish it on anyone else. So uh, that being said, um, I just wanna say that my none of my videos get to be edited yet. I am hoping to get a new computer, so I will be able to use my phone and the computer and edit stuff eventually. But for now, you just get one shot, it's one take, and it's gotta be as good as it is, so that's what you get. <laughs> and um, so I get a little nervous sometimes and repeat myself, and I apologize for that, but like I said, it's taken me 22 years to actually open up a little and express who I am and who I really wanna be and having the acceptance from my kids. Um, that's part of the reason why I waited so long. They both now give me their blessing and they're old enough to know that stigma can go with this if this gets you know, put on my Facebook page or if it gets put online and some of their friends see it. They might have a good reaction, they might have a bad reaction and my kids know that they know how to handle it. They know the U equals U is a good example because they were both born from someone HIV positive and they are both negative. So the U equals U, the undetectable equals untransmissionable is actually also possible with children. You just can't bear speed. That's where most of the people in other countries that do not get the resources that we get, that's where their problem lies with so much transmission and to new infants and little babies is because they have to breastfeed. They have no way to have infamil formula or anything like that given to them or have access even to it to be able to have healthy babies because you can have them born HIV negative, but as soon as you breastfeed, it's in your breast milk. So that being said, I didn't get to breastfeed, but my kids and I have an amazingly close relationship and I would not trade it for the world. So um, I just wanted to give you a little note about myself. Um, I was not always this crazy blue haired girl that's, um, I feel pretty confident, so I feel like I express, or um, I feel like I show confidence a lot more than I used to. I used to be this timid little kid that really just didn't know who I really wanted to be, but I really had all these hopes and desires and you know, I loved doing all exciting things. I loved rock climbing and then actually that's a picture of me rock climbing before I was HIV positive. And you can see my long blonde hair and you know, and actually the road in the back of it is um, the road to Squaw Valley. Um, I used to live in Tahoe and I lived there for quite a few years and the whole time I lived there, I hid that I was HIV positive from almost everyone. I had only a very few f handful of friends, really a handful of friends, including relatives that lived in the area. I had relatives that lived back in New Hampshire, but I did not have anybody close that were like my friends at the time. It took me quite a few years, like almost till before I left, to tell people that I was HIV positive. 
And some of my friends said, oh, that was awesome that you waited because I wasn't educated enough and mature enough to understand that it would be cool, cool to still be your friend. And that made me feel so good that they are educated and understand enough so they still love me and they don't have a problem with the fact that I have it and I can't give it to them. I can't give it to my kids. I can't give it to whoever I date because I've been undetectable for 15 years or more. <laughs> Actually, more than that, but I don't count when I was pregnant because, you know, I mean, I just, some of the, the health issues I had when I was pregnant did not have anything to do with the HIV, so I was still undetectable. But at the same time, it was, um, it was my T cells went really, really down low. So that's like your fighter cells that every person in the world has. It's, um, it has nothing to do with the virus. It has to do with the person's immunity themselves before they ever have HIV, cancer, or anything. So when somebody has normal T cells, you know, they're up into like the 1500s or something like that. And mine went down to two while I was pregnant with my son. And that had nothing to do with the HIV, it had to do with the pregnancy. And I joke and tell him he was my twilight baby, you know, the vampire sucking the life out of me. But you know, he's, <laughs> he wasn't. And um, he ended up being a healthy, happy baby. And I mean, he was amazing. My daughter is amazing. And I am just so blessed and so lucky to have this opportunity to be courageous enough to share some of my story. And well, hopefully all of my story <laughs> in different videos. Um, I'm hopefully gonna figure out how to keep this one on top so I can just have people know that this is like really what I'm about. And yes, I have been HIV positive for 20 plus years. I found out when I was pregnant, um, I was just happening into my second trimester. And that being said, I mean, yes, I was health scared. And <laughs> I, um, oh, my, uh, my medicine alarm. <laughs> um, I actually, except for my HIV meds, I try to do all alternative, um, like herbal meds, not really alternative, but like alternative from the stuff that the doctors push. I don't do pain pills. I don't do uh, other, you know, I don't do anxiety medicine anymore. I don't do depression medicine. I don't do all these other meds. I just have my cannabis and I strict, strictly stick to try or try to stick to all natural things. I have an organic vegetable garden. I have organic medicine and I grow it myself. And so, and I also grow it for other people who have HIV and AIDS, cancer, seizures, and a bunch of other illnesses. So, and a shout out to all of you, you know who you are, and I love you all. <laughs> but um, I'm a little nervous about sharing all this because it's been so long, but uh, most of my good friends know everything all about me already. But uh, those, that you, those of you that don't, you know, just be educated and please don't stop being my friend. <laughs> but um, be happy that I'm being brave and finally getting my voice. And I love all of you and thank you all for being there in my life and giving me support. And I'm hoping that me doing some of these videos will help other people have a little support too. I'm hoping that I will get some questions asked. I'm hoping that I will be able to help uh, tell people where to go get help if they need it or you know or give them ideas maybe of where they can go and seek help or advice or you know whatever and or maybe just give them some of my advice about dating or some of the things i've gone through medically or just whatever and i'm also going to hopefully get to do some funny videos or some cool videos of my family and um, the, the, some of the cool things we get to do or whatever um, my pets um, I actually have one that's, you know, sleeping back here in the nice AC with me. <laughs> she's kicking me here. Um, she's our Ridgeback, and she's Savannah, and I love her very much. She's one of my therapy animals. Um, I also have, we, well, we also have two rats, and they are also my therapy animals. I actually went a whole week, almost two weeks, without Savannah <laughs> or my other dog. And it was really hard for me. I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna have a nurse breakdown. I don't take meds for any of that anymore. I, you know, I'm not gonna have my dog for security and I'm gonna be all by myself. My, my kids went on vacation. Both of them went on vacation to two different areas. And um, 
my my son and our little dog is up there up in Tahoe just loving the lake and they keep sending me pictures when it's 114 here and they're swimming in Lake Tahoe I'm like ah <laughs> but um, I'm hoping to get to do a whole bunch of different kind of videos of uh, just the weird things that we do um, my channel right now is called Mishta's Madness and or Mishta Madness and madness is not my last name but I have a lot of madness crazy stuff going on in my life and I'm going to share it with everybody. <laughs> and um, if I get views, cool. If I don't, cool. I'm just hoping that I get to help someone with any of my, um, just anything, you know, any medical stuff, any um, how to be a little bit more cheerful and fight the depression. And I'm probably going to have a couple dark videos where I'm not having a good time with my depression. And I try not to say my depression with depression because if I say my, I own it and I don't want to own it. <laughs> so I would like to keep that over here and it's the depression that I used to have. <laughs> and I really try to every day uh, fight against that and I try to be a good influence on others. Like I said, my kids and I have a really close relationship and we try to help other people, other families. If they don't have a family they can rely on, then I pretty much adopt all the kids that I know. And whether they're a kind of adult children or children children, I just kind of adopt them all because I love them and I care for everybody. And I just, I'm hoping that I can spread a little bit of that love through some of my videos and let people know that, you know, there is hope if you get diagnosed with HIV or AIDS, there is hope out there. And I mean, I was diagnosed 22 years ago while I was pregnant and I had no clue. I had no idea because I had been tested before. I had been tested when I moved from Hollywood to Tahoe. I was tested twice. Both came out negative. But I didn't realize that I, when I slept with my ex-boyfriend, who I left Hollywood and him behind, I did not realize that him coming back up and us getting together for a short bit, that that would have been the time when I could have caught it. But it is what it is. And I did try to contact him and he must have known because he just hung up on me when I said it's a medical emergency and he hung up on me and that was like the second time I called because I said who I was and he used to click and I went ah oh, he's really mad at me and so I called back again and he I said it's a medical emergency and he hung up again so my bestie and I looked at each other and said he either knows or he's not going to accept it anyway so let's just let him be if he's not going to talk to you when you say it's in a medical emergency and he never called back or else I would have told him then he already he either already knew and he was ashamed that he gave it to me or he just really didn't care about anything to do with me and that's not on me anymore I tried it and that's what it is but anyways um <clears throat> excuse me I'm trying not to talk so much that I get too dry of my mouth but I do I have cotton on so bad all the time <laughs> But that is what it is, especially when you do herbal medicine. And I actually have a channel about growing that on your own. And um, just, I mean, my six little plants, it's legal here. There's nothing wrong with it. And I'm just trying to help other people, you know, that I know and other people around the world even, how to help grow your own medical marijuana. So that's my other channel and I'm 420 Shorty. And on this channel, I'm Mishta Madness. And I'm hoping to show you all a lot more of my madness. <laughs> but um, just a note before I go, I want to be able to tell you guys, really, it's important to get tested. Know the facts if you are or not HIV positive, because if you are, it's okay. You can live a healthy life and you don't have to freak out. I mean, you will, but you don't have to. You don't have to... There are many videos out there. There's a great a bunch of videos that I've just found from Jennifer Vaughn. She's amazing. She has a wonderful story. She is just brand new, brand new, diagnosed like a year ago, I guess. And a bunch of other people have had really great stories on YouTube. And I did not even know that there was such a big platform for this. And I'm really excited to be able to just jump on and join that. I'm really, really excited because we all have our own amazing story. And the more people that get out there and show that it's okay, they have a story they're gonna live after, and you can have a very, I mean, I've got two kids that I had while I was boss. So you know what, you can even have kids and a family and all that, it does not stop you. So that being said, 
please go out and get tested. Just make sure you know, you know, your results and um, be safe, you know. Use condoms, take the prep, do whatever you gotta do. Um, abstinence, if that's your thing. Um, <laughs> um, uh, and, you know, love everybody and have a peaceful day. And remember, if nothing else, I care about you and I'm sure that there are more people out there that care about you than you know. So really, just keep the faith and stay positive and, you know, keep hope. Don't let it ever get you. You know, if you have a bad day, just remember there's a lot of us out there and go watch one of those cool happy videos of a bunch of these people's lives that are, you know, prospering after they found out they were HIV positive or even had AIDS and have come back. I mean, when I was diagnosed, I had AIDS. I had 182 T cells and I have 480 now, you know? So, and the viral load, my viral load back then was in the billions and it was scary because I was pregnant. And so I was terrified going, there's no way I can have a baby without having her be HIV positive. And she wasn't HIV negative. 100% of the way, so I'm really excited and I, I love the fact that she's been amazing for me. I mean, she used to go with me to the doctors when she was two, even littler, and be like, I'm going to help you be brave, mommy. I'm going to help you be brave. And she's been my rock ever since. My, my son has also been my rock and I don't know what I would do without them. So. Um, I should probably wrap it up here. It's kind of getting a long video, and um, I hope you all just keep watching. And, you know, just please, everybody, love each other and have peace.